everyone, and welcome to the first of two special episodes of God Solid's Turnbuckle, the wrestling video podcast I run over here on youtube.com forward slash UC Campbell. And uh, it has been a while. Yeah, yes, it has. Uh, so I'll, I'll basically uh, go about that. S um, I took a break from doing the, po the weekly podcast for a little bit of time because I kind of wanted to uh, 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 on that side. Uh, I am kind of ready to bring that back. We're not going to do a traditional episode uh, this week where I go over Raw, SmackDown, NXT, go over any kind of news or anything to go along with that. Mainly because I haven't, it's not because I haven't been watching it, but I haven't been reviewing it going into the Royal Rumble shows and the NXT TakeOver show. I've been watching the episodes, just haven't been going over them. So I, I feel like in the terms of a traditional episode, we are going to come back with that next week. This week, though, we are going to be doing... Um, uh, you will be seeing simulations, and those will be going up tomorrow. Uh, these will be going up on Friday night, uh, and simulations are going to be going up on Saturday uh, on that one uh, to go along with that. And also expect a review for... Uh, NXT TakeOver, Phoenix, and the Royal Rumble, um, as well as what we're going to be doing here, which uh, with this video is going to be take um, NXT TakeOver Phoenix predictions, and then afterwards we are also going to release the predictions for the Royal Rumble as well. So let's get ourselves right into it. It is going to be Cassius Ono. Uh, we'll be starting off the uh, with this one with Cassius Ono going up against Matt Riddle. Uh, this is a rematch from... Um, from a, in a, uh, a regular NXT show and from the uh, last NXT TakeOver at War Games as well. That was an impromptu match uh, to go along with that. They have had one match since uh, on that one, and they are going to have another one here. I would imagine in this case, it is going to be Matt Riddle going over. Uh, they are still playing up the storyline of Cash Zono going after... Uh, after quote unquote the new NXT toys uh, to go along with that uh, the shiny new toys as he's been going after Keith Lee and Matt Riddle he has had a victory over Keith Lee on NXT television I imagine in this one it will be Matt Riddle going over uh, it, on this particular match not really too much to uh, go about on that one up next, we have the War Raiders going up, up against the Undisputed Era, and this will be for the NXT Tag Team Championships. Um, I don't know how much uh, really uh, where to go with this part <coughs> particular one. Sorry, I had a brief cough there. Um, uh, with this particular one, mainly just because you feel like the Undisputed Era have done quite a bit in NXT, and you would imagine an a call up is going to be coming here very soon on that side of everything uh to go along with it so uh i'm imagining that we do get a title change here it has been quite some time since we've had the nxt tag team titles change hands as well so i am going to go with the war raiders on this one uh to beat the undisputed era i would imagine you're going to have uh bobby fish and adam cole or uh not just uh uh, Bobby Fish, but you're going to have, um, yeah, you're going to have Bobby Fish and Adam Cole probably getting involved in this match in some way, shape, or form uh, to finally beat uh, Roderick Strong, but eventually the Warriors will beat Roderick Strong and Kyle O'Reilly. I think that's who's going to be in the match. I mean, they could play it off of a free bird rule style uh, bit as well, where any one of them could be in the match as well. Uh, we'll see how that one plays out, but I feel like the War Raiders are going to go over in this match. <coughs> Um, up next, we have Ricochet going up against Johnny Gargano, and this is going to be for the North American Championship. This should be a fun match. I, I think this should be a really good match. Uh, not too much in the terms of... Uh, really, the build in the terms of a story has not been too terribly much. Uh, they have been playing off more of the Johnny Gargano is you know, continually slipping more and more and more to getting very obsessive not just towards uh beating Tommaso Ciampa for the NXT title but to the point of wanting all of the gold in NXT that he can get his hands on which means actually going after the North American Championship uh in this case and I don't uh, this one's really hard to say uh they did put the North American Championship on Ricochet um on Ricochet not too long ago, I believe it was NXT TakeOver Brooklyn that they put it on him. 
uh, on that one. But I imagine they may do a switch here as well. We've seen some really good matches with Ricochet on there. But I feel like they're doing... I don't know what they're going to really be doing with Johnny Gargano because a lot of people feel like his redemption is eventually beating Tommaso Ciampa. But what does getting the NXT North American title do to that redemption? Does it validate what he's been doing? Or does he start kind of garnering back what was what he once was? Um I feel like they may put this on Johnny Gargano, but there's also a piece of me that says, uh, maybe they keep this one on Ricochet. So I'm going to actually go with, I'm going to switch this around a little bit. I was going to originally go with Johnny Gargano, but I'm going to go with Ricochet in this particular match to keep the North American title. Uh, maybe this is a, a facet where they have Ricochet beat Johnny Gargano and he recognizes that, you know, even with his new way, he's not winning the titles he wants uh, to go along with that. And maybe he starts himself on a road to redemption based upon that uh, to go along with it. We'll see how that one plays out. But I'm going to go with Ricochet uh, in this particular one. It's a, this is one of those matches it's very hard to say where they're going to go. Uh, uh, up next will be Shayna Baszler going up against Bianca Belair. And this will be for the Smack, not SmackDown, but for the NXT Women's Championship. Uh, this could be a really good match. It's an interesting one that they kind of, uh, it, it, kind of in this case, you have a heel versus heel situation. Bianca Belair is generally a heel. But in this case, since uh, Shayna Baszler is generally a, um, a, more, uh, a more reviled heel, uh, in this one, it kind of makes Bianca pseudo babyface or the default babyface in this particular one. Um, I don't think they're going to take that NXT women's title off of Shayna Baszler quite yet again. In this one, as much as Bianca Belair has shown so far inside of the ring um, and inside of her matches, I feel like they're not going to put that belt on her quite yet. That will be somewhere down the line, uh, but it won't be here at this time. Maybe they even have it set up to where Bianca is the one that takes uh, the belt off of Shayna Baszler somewhere else down the line. But I feel like Shayna Baszler is going to keep the title here uh, on that one. Uh, so this brings us to Tommaso Ciampa going up against Aleister Black for the NXT Championship. You know, uh, again, I don't feel like they're taking this title off of Tommaso Ciampa quite yet. It, it, there is a piece of me that says that... You know, maybe they could get, do it with Aleister Black and they can do something else to go along with it. But my feeling of where I feel like it's going to end up going is that Tommaso Ciampa is going to win this match. He's going to hold the title over Aleister Black in this particular one. There is a lot of talk and rumor, innuendo, all that kind of jazz uh, to go along with it. We don't know. Obviously, we don't fully know if it's true. Um that Alistair Black may be going to the main roster soon. So it'd be, it would be an interesting move for them to put the NXT title on him and then move him to the main roster. It wouldn't be the first time that we've had something like that with, Ke uh, with Kevin Owens having the uh, NXT title on his original uh, time for Raw uh, to go along with it, or his original uh, call up and everything. Uh, so it wouldn't be unheard of, but I don't think it's going to be the case here. I feel like it's going to be Tommaso Ciampa going over in this match and keeping the NXT Championship. Uh, so that is basically everything. Um, that is all of the matches uh, that have been advertised for NXT TakeOver. Um, as of right now, I'm currently not going to the show. That could change. I don't know quite yet. I'm going to see how I feel Saturday. There are still some tickets left uh, for the show itself. I'm going to see how I feel Saturday before the show and everything to go along with that and then make a decision uh, by, um, well, uh, not too terribly close to the uh, to the bell time, but uh, probably uh, close to the afternoon of whether or not I end up going to it. I Otherwise, I may do a live reaction stream over here um, on the YouTube page as well. Uh, to the show. I don't know yet. We'll see how everything ends up going uh, on that one. It should be an 
interesting and very uh, i think it's still going to be a very good nxt uh takeover it's it again it's one of those ones that you take a look at it on a card and it might not look that good but i think in the end uh, the NXT TakeOver shows have generally delivered in the end. So with that being said, everybody, we'll see how NXT TakeOver Phoenix uh, goes. And again, I thank you guys for watching and I hope you have yourself a great rest of your day. Take care, everybody.